gentlemen, I wanted to share with you my God thought, which is about running with pers perseverance. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Vix, and approximately 10 years ago, I took up running. I was by no means a runner beforehand, and I certainly would not have volunteered myself in anything that required running. However, uh, a friend of mine challenged me and said to me, Fix, come on, we'll go. And I'm one of those people who likes to be challenged um, and went along with her and started to build my running abilities. As you can imagine, this takes quite a lot of time. Not only this, but I also had to give time and effort and had to really start to think about the things that I was finding challenging and what I could do to overcome them. With that, I had to obviously start to think about what I was doing to prepare for running. And there were things that needed to be sacrificed along the way. But all in all, over the last 10 years, I have set myself many goals and have been able to achieve them. And in many respects, this really made me think about the Christian life. And when I looked at the verse in Hebrews, which I'd like to share with you, in Hebrews 12, verse 1 and verse 2, it says, Let us throw off everything that hinders and the sin that so easily entangles and let us run with perseverance the race marked out for us. Let us fix our eyes on Jesus, the author and perfecter of our faith. When I look at these verses, this reminds me of running. I know that similar to running, there are things within our Christian um, lives that are really quite challenging. And we need to think about how we are going to remove those things from us that entangles us and distracts us from our focus. When I look at this and it says um, really clearly in verse two, let us fix our eyes on Jesus. I know that in my Christian um, journey so far, that the times whenever I've taken my eyes off Jesus are the times that I find the hardest. What I know is that when I put Jesus at the center of everything that I do, when I give time, when I give up things that distract me from him, those are the times where I know that I am running the race with perseverance. As we finish today, what I would like to challenge you is what is it that takes you and distracts you away from your race with Jesus? What are those things that you need to remove from your life to help you to focus on him. As you go forward today, this week, next month, and continue on your race and your journey and the path that he has chosen for you, what is it that you are going to do to keep your eyes fixed upon him? Have a great day. Bye, thanks for listening.